On today's video, we're headed out to our off-grid camp and we're going to try to get a little fishing in and definitely have a little fun. Hey there outdoor YouTubers. Well, like I said earlier, we're headed out to our off-grid camp. For this first day out here, it's gonna be my son Nick, my buddy Scott, and myself. And we brought the boat along, and we're gonna try to get in a little fishing. Did we disturb your nap? I never did really. I don't think I'm totally fall asleep. Oh, bummer. Yeah. You were probably on your way. We blew it. No, I think it was just one of the things where I was just laying down. And now on this first day out at the camp, the weather report was calling for some rain in the late afternoon. So as soon as we got out to the camp, we just kind of got unpacked and we tried to head out fishing right away. Maybe stay ahead of the rain. But, as you can see, we didn't really quite make it. We wound up just driving to the lake, watching the rain come down, even saw a little lightning, and then we knew we weren't going to be heading out. Now, about an hour later, the rain did actually stop, but we were already back at the camp, kind of getting into our evening camp mode. You grilling tonight, Scott? Yeah, are you? Yes. You can't nest in the grill. Uh -huh. <laughs> this wheel of death. Does it does it still stink? I want to open this up. That open. Some crumbled up newspapers. See how that goes. I think that'll get things started. All right. Hopefully, it won't be too long. Water in the top pot, and all these mosquitoes that are terrorizing me in here are in for a big surprise because it's going to get hot. I got the new season ketchup and mustard coming on. I'm gonna put some dates oh. on them. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take the old stuff out the Corollas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is kind of a, you know, first trip to the camp of the summer tradition where I actually replace like the old ketchup and mustard. Like see this mustard says 2021 on it. Um, I really don't want to, uh, have mustard and ketchup that sat out here and froze through the winter or just just sat out here for the whole last summer and winter so I always buy like a new ketchup and mustard and I'll write the date on it 2022 2022 and now we got good fresh ketchup and mustard this will probably carry us through till deer season. Okay, 
So what do you got going here with this ketchup? Scott? So we got the new ketchup that you had to that you changed out with the 2022 on it. Yes. And I had to take the tab off because I couldn't squeeze it out. Of course. And then I realized it was one of these one of these things with these goofy uh, flaps on it. Yeah. So you squeeze, you squeeze, you squeeze, and then you get a big giant yep. mess. Well, there's a hack on it. You can go on the inside, and you can take a fork or a knife, and there's a little thing on there. You can just pop that out. Oh, and then once okay. that's out of there, now you just oh, get yeah, a yeah. hole. Yeah. And then it's easy to come out. Awesome. Yeah, because yeah. I, I totally know what you're talking about. That That is an issue. Yeah. you you got to be careful because it comes out fast, but you don't have to force it out ever. Yeah. And you could do the same things with mustards. I wonder if this one is, is like Yeah. See, now I don't have the issues no, with the mustard as much. This mustard is fine. No, but there are some mustards that have a similar thing in them like that. Okay. Um, that have this kind of bottle. And, uh, yeah, you just pop that little... Thing out of there it's a little rubber grommet awesome yeah okay so we're good we're good now until we're good now until muscle in season yeah yeah that's a that's a pro eating tip right there you could there. make an argument that you will save ketchup by making that orifice bigger yeah so no i can see that totally that's, the, that's i recommend doing that to every new heinz ketchup bottle that has this design absolutely so, and then uh so yeah and that's the piece that came out yeah very good very good. And then what are you Checked eating? Uh, chicken sausage. Chicken sausage, yeah, okay. Cap caprese Italian chicken sausage with basil and oregano nice. and yeah, whatever. Nice. So, yeah, me, me and Nick are going with the hot rebels. That sounds like a sore butt to me. So. <laughs> okay. It's particularly, I mean, if I was at home, I might try that. Yeah. But out here with the outhouse, I'm not going to take yeah, that chance. Okay. Yeah, so. I hear you. I'm going to stay a little more mild. I hear you. So, very yeah. good. Let's see. There, that's the hot rebels. They're getting there. They're a little brown. Won't be too long. <clears throat> I saw Fisher the other day crossing the road right by my mom's house. Oh, yeah. On the way to work, yeah. Come around the corner, started creeping up, just started accelerating. Crossy went. I got a pretty good look at a red fox the other day. Mm -hmm. Just heading home late at night. It was just chilling on one side of the road. Oh yeah. yeah. Do, do either one of them look like they're going to be bucks? Or? Uh, I would say no from what I saw. That was like four weeks ago or whatever. But no nubs or anything even. I didn't notice, no. No, some of them I didn't see that close. Yeah. So they, they very well could. Well, so I guess they'll probably be starting to show some nubs now. You yeah, know, no, I, you see them right now, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen them around the house. So tonight's meal is Hot Rebel Polish Sausage with the uh, with this good Dijon stone ground mustard that I like. And we got some Mama Russo's Greek salad. That's pretty good, and we got the uh, Keweenaw Brewing Company. That's what you get for covering up her face with your thumb. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> we got a Keweenaw Brewing Company uh, pickaxe blonde beer to go with it. So. I'm excited. Looks like your hot rebel is a little uh, beer battered. I got a beer brat. I got a beer brat hot rebel. Mm. Brat fry. Yep. I got this super spicy ramen from uh, Meyer. I'm never getting that again. I could feel it go through each pipe in my system. <laughs> could tell where it was at any point hmm. until it left. I think we could take that policy a step further by saying that maybe we should never eat ramen again. <laughs> yeah, Scott's not a fan. Mm. <clears throat> Ever since he got a job and stuff. And when you eat that kind of stuff in college and like eat it a lot and a lot. Yeah, ramen is, ramen is one thing I'll never eat again. Sure. I grabbed three because I wasn't exactly sure. Sounds good. Woo. Yeah, 
popping already. Nice. Wooden handle. Metal handles get too hot in here. And then what we want to do is grab a little bit of this cold water from our tank here. And then we're going to take some of this scalding, scalding hot water and mix it. You can see that's just popping away. That is some hot water there. I gotta keep gotta wipe the camera. Yeah. And that's just about right for washing up. Yeah, we're gonna make a little bit of steam here. Camera will fog up pretty quick. Woo! Very refreshing. That would be problematic. Have to go shopping with Jackie for someone else. Yeah. It would be tough. I don't think I could make that happen. Man, I made some turkey burgers the other night. Yeah. Pretty good. Well, yeah. And she doctored them up with some stuff, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they were good. Was it all that stuff that the Rob Lowe character from Parks and Rec used on burgers? Yeah, I mean, it was it was exactly that. It wasn't as good as just a hamburger on a white bun. Right. You could put ketchup on it if you wanted or not. Mm -hmm. I could care less. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's basically what it was. Yeah, she doctored up like uh, Rob Lowe. She did? It was literally the best non-beef burger I've ever had. Okay. Then, after an enjoyable, relaxing evening, it was time to hit the bunks. Hey, what's up, Pete? Not too much. How's it going here? Good. Then the next day, my son Peter yeah. did come out to the camp, but our buddy Scott did have to head back home. As you can see, I had a little bit too much flame going on here. And then just a little while later, I had no flame. Yeah, propane tank ran out mid-burger.
There we go. We're back in business now. Today's early supper is cheeseburgers and cottage cheese. Sound good, Nick? Yeah. All right. So, last time I went fishing with this rod, <clears throat> something really bad happened. And I'm going to need to fix that. I won't end up just reeling up a big mess onto here, but it's still lying in here somewhere. I need to get it out and take care of it. I thought about handing this to one of my kids when we're out fishing and have them start casting it. And then of course the first time they went to cast they would run into this issue that I know is in here. That would be kind of funny. But I couldn't actually do that to them. <clears throat> but yeah, here's this big mess that wound up getting reeled up, all knotted up. It's crazy. Uh, we're going to lose about half a cast of the line off of it, but it'll be all right. We can deal with that. Well, even though it was kind of cold out, it did stop raining, so you know we had to give fishing a try. Well, today we were at least able to get out on the water, and things started off pretty clear and sunny. But as things progressed, you'll see that we start putting more and more clothes on, and you'll also see it gets more and more foggy. But one pretty cool thing was that we were greeted by two bald eagles on the lake. Okay. It look promising, but it... well, <laughs> pulling a little bit. Let's see. The air temperature dropped about 10 degrees while we were out there and it really wasn't very warm to start and as you can see it got awfully foggy really wasn't uh, much fun fishing 
fish didn't really seem to be biting. So we really didn't stay out on the water too long. You know, when you can do that on these nicer days, why would you suffer through this? That's like something out of Scooby-Doo or the, the walleye monsters that scare us off the lake or something. Yeah. Well, it looks like, gosh, it's only about 60 degrees in the camp. This one says it's about 63. This one says, I don't know, maybe it's 61. So, it is a little cold in the camp. We're going to have to light the fire. Doing real good. Nice. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Yeah, it looks like about 72, 73 on the Sather's general store thermometer. So, yeah, we're doing good. Now, some of you guys that have watched some of my previous videos may know that we have this dry erase board at the camp and we like to write funny things quotes messages that sort of thing on it from time to time so my buddy scott wrote this quote on the dry erase board and i'd be curious to see how many of you out there can figure this out where it came from what is it about so this quote on the dry erase board says when you're down in the dumps and you need something to bring you up, there's only one thing that's gonna do it the way you want it. What's that? And then you guys kinda gotta fill in the blank there. And then the quote goes on to say, I can't hear you. So anyways, guys, leave a comment below if you know what was supposed to kinda go at that, uh, that fill in the blank spot there. And if you know that, you're certainly gonna know where the quote came from. So, anyways, leave some comments below if you guys know where that quote came from. Then, after we got a little relaxing in, it was time to hit the bunks. The next morning, it was bacon, eggs, and toast for breakfast.
And then me and Nick had this installation job to take care of in the outhouse. Some of you gals have seen these before in public restrooms. It's a feminine hygiene dispenser. I'm not completely sure what we're going to use it for out here, but it just seemed like it belonged in an outhouse somewhere. One thing I think is kind of interesting, these little knobs that were used to like lower down the products actually look like Chevy bow ties. I thought that was kind of interesting. But anyways, there's our new little addition to the outhouse. And then my daughter Taylor showed up at the camp. It's actually her birthday, and she thought it'd be fun to come out fishing with me and Nick. Actually, yes. Um, but I really think you should use um, Clara Shield repellent spray because it doesn't have the chemicals that um, bug spray does. It's not going to kill off. Small pike were certainly biting right away. No, it's not a baby. Oh, yeah. Nice. Right. How's that look? Good. You knew when to fire up the live well. I guess so. There's a... Uh pike that Taylor caught. I don't know. Just for the heck of it, let's measure it. Yeah, you got it. Maybe we'll give this one a quick measure. Got it? <laughs> so we thought we'd try to be a little funny with those pike measurements. Right, uh, evening of fishing though, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah good time. Yeah. Perfect weather. Oh, that's it's nice amazing. to just Gosh. sit there. 
Yeah, for me and Nick, we've been like not fishing or fishing in super cold fog. Um, that was a very pleasant evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a cheeseburger. Yeah. Good. Yeah, mine's good too. Yeah, since it's uh, 11 o'clock at night, probably better off just going with the one. I suppose. Then the next morning, we pretty much just packed up and headed home. Well, that was another real enjoyable trip out to the camp. The weather didn't really totally cooperate as far as fishing goes. I really would have liked to have fished a lot more, but we did have that nice one day, so I hate to complain too much. And, of course, we ate good out there and had a real good time, regardless of the weather. So if you enjoy this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing. And also, guys, remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. Thanks for watching, and God bless.